and then uh, there's just great opportunities for people here in Oklahoma mm-hmm. and uh, that's why we wanted to put this together was to raise awareness definitely for one mm-hmm. you know if you haven't got your free tickets you can go to www.chronicpalooza405.com get ticks it's free you don't have to pay to get your tickets and you can get your discounted uh, patient recommendations while you're out there we have over 50,000 square feet of vendors we have over 20 artists performing um, artists as well as comedians And we're going to have Cooking with Cannabis. Well, Cooking with Hemp, actually. Uh, And the guy, Balaam, will be there from Cooking on High from Netflix. He'll be there as a a guest speaker. And uh, we have a lot of things going on. So uh, Tony will be out there actually showing it. I think Meemaw's from uh, out in uh, Tulsa area. She's going to come in and do some things as well. And we're going to just have uh, a lot of great things. So definitely come out if you haven't got your tickets. And um, where all can we find you again with your music? Uh, any platform you can look me up Spotify iTunes YouTube all that you can just look up wub wub uh, my Instagram snapchat and uh, Twitter is OG underscore wub wub uh, my Facebook is facebook.com slash OG wub wub there's no underscore on it they cool. wouldn't let me have it you just do wub wub and you're pretty much going to find you anywhere, yeah anything right? wub wub yeah. Yeah, yeah you'll find it or you could uh, squad cat yeah look up bro clan squad Bro-Clan cat squad and it'll cat. pop up is your t-shirts almost. out yet or, or we have we have shirts um well then, you have to be in the club you have to walk the, well, the bro clan the cat, i mean there's there are cer- yeah there are certain stuff that we have <laughs> that you know we wear like nikki she has one on that it's like for the team you know it says like bro clan squad cat says 420 with a pot leaf on the back okay so but I, I can't because I uh, didn't realize that, you know, kids were going to be able to allow in. And so some of my yeah. merch is not. That was a big accomplishment, you know. That's and I'm a dad, it so it's not appropriate, you know what I mean? And Well, that's, that's, a, that's, that's just how it goes. But I do have um, candles. Like, they're called stoner senses. Oh, we made okay. them with uh, hemp wicks and made our own senses and stuff like that. And they smell really bomb. Um, awesome. Y'all are industrious out here. Oh, yeah. You're making your own candles. Oh, yeah. You got and we got, uh, we got what I like to call uh, Girl Scout cookie jars. You know. <laughs> and um, it's that good I for paint. your cookies. Yeah. Well, she, that's what she does. Well, she Amanda, does speak up here. Get in here. Get in the game, yeah. girl. What's yeah, going no, on wait, down what's, there? What's the, the, tell us about this eye paint that you have there. What? I paint. <laughs> what, maybe I just heard. The, it's the, the Girl Scout cookies. Oh, the jars. jars. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, you paint them? Yeah, I yeah. paint them. Not I paint, <laughs> but I paint. We smoked a bullet. Shout out to Sven and Oates out there. <laughs> that got the, the some beautiful glass that we're using here. Yeah, um, nice. So you paint the jars. Do we have a picture of these jars? or? or? I, have, you I do. have a picture, yeah. You have to send um, them to, to Clee, maybe, some, uh, or put them underneath this GoPro. I wonder how that would look. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll check it out. Got a, you never know. I got a video of one of them here. There we go. Yeah, right underneath. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Put it underneath that little, that little camera right there. Underneath the GoPro, right yeah, yeah. Can you see that? Push uh, play. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the other way, right. Yeah, and then Just push like play this. on that bad boy. There we go. Yeah, they're uh, 20 uh, pop for those. There's, she has other designs, too, but that's, like, my favorite one. That's I'm Galaxy, actually. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. And, don't, and they don't scratch off or anything. And you put your brain in there. What's that, a mirror? <laughs> No, it's a it's the it's see through. Oh. It's, it's a jar. So see yeah, that mm-hmm. that's our that's our symbol for Bro Clan Squad Cat. Uh. We've had it for a long time. I have. Um, yeah, where's that symbol of Bro? Yeah, you're giving you a yeah, give me another. Sound. Well, I have it on my arm here too. Dude, that's it. wild. A lot of us have it tatted. <laughs> So it's a secret. Put it underneath. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. see that in an airport somewhere. I'm gonna be like, yo, Bro Clan Squad Cat, and they're gonna be like, yo, bro, what's up? We're going to get one put on the back of the What's the password? <laughs> the password is wub wub. It's love. <laughs> he said it's love. Love, there you go. It's love. We, we, don't, we don't like drama and stuff, you know. We try to have a good time, like I said. Life's too short to have drama. Exactly, exactly. Because there, there, there's going to be plenty of it that's going to come by. Right. So you might as well save that time for that shit and go out and medicate and have mm-hmm. a good time oh, yeah, and exactly. go Always go walk in the park or something good like that. Mm-hmm. What do you do what do you what do you do for fun? For fun? <laughs> Which is an odd question cuz somebody asked me, you know, what hobbies do you do? And I was like, hobbies. I like to skate a lot. You like to skate a lot? To be honest, I'm not that great anymore. I, well, I broke my ankle a while oh, back from skating and I'm just, like basically teaching myself how to skate again. <coughs> It's kind of annoying, but I have uh, some homies out there who are really good at skating. Shout out to Aaron. He's he's look, got Shred sponsors it. looking at him. Oh, yeah. yeah? He's, like, really good. He's been wow. doing it for a long time. So um, there's that. I like to skate. We Really, besides skating and 
making music and traveling and sometimes we like to go camping it just depends we don't we don't like to do that in state as much as we like to go out and see other things because we all grew up here you know so we've sure. been camping here is plenty of times but uh yeah other than that i mean i personally like to go to the bar a lot <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna lie uh booze is like my second friend uh next to marijuana that's number one obviously there you go but you don't not, have to say that because you're on a marijuana show that's the, <laughs> no no that's no that's 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 for real i i smoke 24 7 probably it helps with my anxiety i have a lot of uh joint pain and stuff so especially being on stage for as long as i have been and right. all that it's it helps you know right helps what about you sleep. amanda what about me what do you what do you do for fun what do you like to do um, I do a lot of painting. That's why I like, I, he had the idea for the jars and I was like, I'm down to do that because I love painting. Um, and I have a cat named Frankie. He's not squad <laughs> cat, but. Shout out to Frankie. <laughs> squad cat number two. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then listen to music and smoke and just hang out. Nothing too complicated. I'm not huge into, you know, working out or going. I like going outdoors, hiking and stuff like that, but mainly just taking it easy because even if I did want to work out, my body wouldn't be able to handle it very yeah. well because I got fibromyalgia. Okay. So. And fun. so, the and you found relief through the cannabis world. Mm -hmm. That's the. Yep, I did. And, and how does that feel like now? Like when it first began, you're like, oh, I got relief from it. And then you start, you, have, you must have met a, a ton of different women that have had the same affliction, right? That, that you kind of talk with about it or. Not personally, but I am part of a group chat deal that's on Facebook that was a godsend because I was diagnosed maybe two and a half years ago. Um, I got really sick, ended up in the hospital for five days, and then it was two months later I was just seeing doctor after doctor after doctor just wanting answers and um, finally it got down to a specialist in Edmond that told me yeah, you, that this is what you have, this is it, what explains it, and um, I didn't, I don't like the way certain medications make me feel Sure. Um, but with cannabis, I still feel like myself, and I'm able to eat. I'm able to sleep, leave my pain, everything like that. It's Get amazing. awesome tats. You got a lot of yeah. butterflies in there. I do. Is that I love butterflies. The That's butterflies. the the. I have a bunch, yeah, and yeah. I still want so many more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what it's all about, you know, being able to, to have an opportunity. I mean, how great was it to know that when 788 passed that you can actually don't have to. I'm pretty sure I be, cried. Yeah. I was tripping, yeah. I'm pretty sure I cried. I was, I was very, very excited. Um, kind of gave me some hope, some faith. Because I know that Oklahoma is a little bit more conservative than most states, so I was very shocked and a very little. proud. Yeah, a, little, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was very, I was very happy that people are starting to see that this isn't just a drug that makes people high. No, it, it has so many more benefits. So many more. So many. A lot. So many. The, the, that the list keeps going on and on. And uh, the fibromyalgia, the, it's so huge because you hear so many women that they've never been diagnosed. And when they're mm -hmm. diagnosed and they can go and find that, that it's not a cure, right? It's a... a Just treatment. treatment. I mean... There's there's no cure, but you can manage the symptoms. That's that's what makes the difference is managing the symptoms. But I mean, in some of these group chats, I've heard of women who have gone 20, 30 years of people just thinking they're crazy. I was like, I can't even imagine that. I went a couple months of right. not knowing what was going on. I can't imagine right. years. Mm, I right. can't. And some have it so bad that they can't get out of bed. Um, they are on disability. They Stability, can't work. Yeah. And uh, I've kind of had to live, like, learn how to live life again because there are certain things that I can't do anymore because I just, I'm in pain all the time. But it is nice to know that it's, a lot of doctors are recognizing it as an actual condition, actual disease. Because mm -hmm. back then, it wasn't a thing. Like, fibromyalgia, what was that? Yeah. That didn't happen for a long, long time. It, I mean, I think it was just recent that it was added, or not added, but, like, considered a... Uh, condition right instead of just something that's made up in your head 
And how great is it that you have, I mean, you know, you don't have really people around you, you said, but you can at least go to a group. I mean, it sounds crazy. Like we're, we right. all say, oh, we're friends on Facebook, but I don't know these people. But there are some really mm-hmm. good groups out there that people can join and can be a part of that you can seek some really good ideas and advice and really network and fellowship inside those yeah. groups. It's crazy as it is, that you, these these perfect strangers. But you guys are going through a lot of the same things, and you all can exchange stories. And, oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's really good. I mean, I hate to say that it's nice to know that other people go through the same thing. But right, but at least you can go with it together. 